If you haven't seen part 2 or 1, please click here. Thank you. The impact of abuse varies considerably among individuals. Researchers and other professionals often dismiss the impact of threats and insults. Many attribute diarrhea, trembling, nausea and vomiting to other causes. Sometimes the anticipation of pain or anguish causes these reactions. That anticipation is a result of prior abuse. We all experience a wide range of emotions, but abusive women use their moods, impulses, fury and assault to get their way and control family members. These women revel in the unrest they create. Your sense of worth and of having rights and choices can become eroded through constant abuse. Remember that all forms of abuse, especially threats, are aimed towards affecting the target's emotional state. Emotional abuse can be just as devastating as physical abuse. Many victims have become so conditioned to the tormentor's behavior and personality that they cannot function without the abusing party. Tormentors often engage in psychological warfare to confuse thinking and undermine the self-worth of their victims. The victim comes to believe in the truth of their false admission and often experience anguish and seeks for the tormentor's forgiveness. People trapped in these relationships often become dependent upon the abuser and are unable to leave the abusive relationship. The psychological condition is called Stockholm Syndrome. For more details about the Stockholm Syndrome, go to the underbar below and click the link that is provided for you. When a person chooses abuse or violence towards their partner, their behavior often causes physical, sexual and emotional damage. Many who have been exposed to abuse exhibit physical signs of stress and may have one or more anxiety disorders such as panic attacks. Now I will give you a list of symptoms of the emotionally abused victim. Just like the abused behavioral traits list, just a few symptoms that are continuous can prove that you are a victim. Can be afraid to tell anyone. Can be ashamed that you have failed as a person. Can be concerned about future abuse or violence. Have developed skin lesions. Can experience panic attacks or symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. Can become dispirited and frustrated. Can feel guilt about leaving their partner. Can believe that they've done something to deserve it. Can feel that no one will believe them can feel sadness or depression, can feel humiliation or anger, are worried about their financial security, are worried about their home and belongings, cannot live at home in peace, often have meals away from home, endure depression, have distrust of others, sense emptiness, can have constant flashbacks, can exhibit intensified vigilance, can exhibit increased irritability, can develop insomnia, feel listless, can have loss of appetite, can have loss of sexual desire, can have many medical complaints, can have memory problems, can have nightmares, can have precognition, the perception of event before it occurs, can have pseudo pains, can have the sense of helplessness, can exhibit social withdrawal, can exhibit shakes or tremors, can exhibit an inability to concentrate, can have diarrhea, can have nausea and vomiting, can have amplified startle response, can have amplified senses, can have unexplained weight gain or loss, can experience recurrent headaches, can become substance dependent, can resent those who have harmed them, as amazing as it may sound, out of the 42 symptoms available, I have exhibited 42 of them. Click on the side to watch the fourth and final part of this video. Also, check the links in the description below. Also, um, if you have any questions whatsoever, um, comment below or send me an email to this address. And thank you for watching part three.